What's up everyone, Andrew Baina here, and on today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Vajra 8 string guitar from GOC Guitars. This guitar was sent to me by the brand, so this is a sponsored video. I want to give them a big thank you for sending this over my way. If you're new to my channel, the way that I like to do demo videos is to show you what the guitar sounds like in a full demo mix, then we'll talk about the specs and then my thoughts on the instrument. So, with that being said, I am demoing this guitar in drop E tuning, so it's standard tuning with the 8th string down a full step to E. And since that's also the tuning that my band Carcosa uses, I decided to play one of our new songs off of the album we just released called Anthology. You should definitely go check it out. This song is called Vermin. I did this recording using this guitar through the Neural DSP Archetype Gojira plugin for both the rhythm guitar and the lead that you'll hear a little more towards the end of the song. So with that being said, this is how the guitar sounds in a full demo mix. So now that you've heard this guitar in a full demo mix, let's talk about the specs of this instrument. So first and foremost, the most obvious thing is this obnoxiously bright pink finish. This is called the kawaii pink finish, which I think is very funny and also I like it. Kawaii means cute, by the way. So it's a cute pink finish. Uh, it is a very thin finish, so you can actually see 
the grain of the wood. Let's see if we can get it right there. You can see a little bit. Um, and then the body is made out of North American swamp ash. The neck is made out of Canadian maple, which has been carbonized, making it a little darker in color. As for the scale length, it is a 25 and a half inch scale length on the top string and a 27 inch scale length on the bottom string. This one also has stainless steel frets, which is really cool. That's always a nice bonus. This time around, they also added a nut, which is nice because the last one I had did not have a nut. So I'm glad that they included that this time. The bridge is a zsr one bridge. Um, I'm not sure if that's a brand name or their own proprietary hardware, but that's what's going on there. As for the pickups, they are GOC's own brand of pickups called the Paragon Alnico V-Set. Um, as for the electronics, it has a single volume knob, which I'm a big fan of. I personally don't like tone knobs, so that's always cool to see. And then of course it has a three-way pickup selector, so it's bridge, both, or neck only. While we're on the topic of pickups, I just want to also mention a cool feature that this guitar has. So you'll notice on the back that it actually has a 9-volt battery, but it's actually empty because the pickups included are passive. So they basically just included the routing for this in case you want to change the pickups. So that's pretty cool and nice and kind of forward thinking. I thought it was a nice little touch they added in there. One other really cool feature I wanna mention about the specs is the jack. It's actually a locking jack. So when you put your cable in there, you have to push down this red button to release it. So basically you don't have to worry about stepping on your cable when you're playing it and ripping out of the guitar. Pretty cool. So that pretty much covers the specs of this instrument. Next, we're gonna move on to my thoughts about the instrument. So I've had a GOC guitars in the past. They sent me one of their Materia models back in 2019. And that one was okay, but it definitely had some issues, which I mentioned in that video, such as tuning stability being the big one. Um, I noticed that when I was playing that previous model, if you bent the strings too far or even just playing it too much, it was almost like the bridge pieces would move which is obviously not very good and you don't want that in your guitar. So then they later remedied this by introducing new hardware to the next gen of Materia. And I think they also sent it out to people so they could swap them because those original bridges were not very good. So I'm happy to report that they do listen to the customers, which is very nice. And the bridge piece on this new model is so much better than both the original Materia and the upgraded Materia one. These do not move an inch as a bridge should, so that is fantastic. Like I mentioned earlier as well, they used to not include a nut here. They used to only have this zero fret, which I personally didn't like because I felt that when I was bending strings, it would almost move the location of the string, which I didn't like. So this nut actually helps to keep the strings where they're supposed to be. So when you do a bend, it actually goes back to the proper place. So I'm glad that they changed that because I wasn't a fan of that either. So pretty much overall, this is a massive improvement over where they were at back in 2019. I'm really happy to see that this company takes customer feedback really well and seriously and implements changes in future builds. As for my other thoughts on the instrument, overall, I would say I like this for the most part. There's only two things that I might kind of want to nitpick. One is the pickups are not my personal favorite. Um, with eight string pickups, it's kind of tricky because you're tuning so low. I personally found these to be a little muddy for my taste. Again, the cool thing about this company is they are a little bit more forward thinking and added things in like this battery compartment because they know people might want to change the pickups. Yeah, so these are, these are okay. They're not bad. They're not great. They're just like, okay, in my opinion. The only other thing that I wasn't a huge fan of on this model was the edge of the nut. I don't know if you can see this like right here. It's like really sharp, so sharp that it actually like cut my index finger. You can see right there um, because of that one of those chords I was doing in the intro right there. You can see when I play that, my index finger keeps like smashing into the nut. So this isn't a huge issue because you can just file the edge of the nut down so it's not quite as sharp. I just thought it was something worth noting because maybe the company in the future will get a nut that's more rounded or something like that. Or if you're an owner of this guitar, you might want to take it upon yourself to just grab a file and just file that down a little bit, which I will be doing after this video. So with that all being said, let's move on to some solo guitar clips. I know that not everyone likes hearing the guitar only in the mix. So this is how the guitar sounds like on its own.
Okay, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If I'm not mistaken, this guitar in particular is not in stock at the moment. However, go check out the link in the description and the pinned comment to learn more about GOC guitars and what models they currently have available or will have available in the future. Again, I want to give a big thank you to the company GOC Guitars for sending this over to me. And I also want to give a big thank you to all my Patreon members whose names are on the screen at this point in time. If you're interested in audio downloads, guitar tabs, stems, or a shout out on the screen, you can find all of that over on my Patreon page. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.